First, create a new layer. Press P on the keyboard or go to this icon to activate the pen tool. Make sure you come up here and select Path. Let's create two points, it doesn't matter where. The path is hard to see at the moment. You can then press on the Options icon here to change the thickness of the path and also change the color to anything from this list. I will choose magenta. It looks much better now. I press Delete to get rid of this path and start again. The pen tool creates a visible path if a minimum of two anchor points are created. Hold the mouse and drag it to create a curved path. These are called direction points and they help you understand how the path will be affected in your next step. Let's say you made a mistake and you want to correct the path. Hold down Ctrl on the keyboard and reposition one of the direction points until the curved line looks better. I need to create the third point but I don't know exactly where to place it because I don't have a preview. If you have the same problem, go to the Options icon and activate the rubber band. Now I have a preview and I have a better sense where to place the next anchor point. I click here, drag and let go of the mouse. If you realize you made a mistake, just press backspace once and you will delete the last point. Now I click on this point and then, oops, I click here. If this happens, do not let go of the mouse, hold down space, move the point where it should be and then let go of the spacebar and the mouse. Let's say you reached this point. How will you create the next point? Hold down Alt and you can move one of the direction points individually. You can then finish the path using the same techniques. Right click inside the path, choose Make Selection, I will use 0 for the feather and click OK. Your selection is ready, very precise and you can fill it in with any color that you want. If you like this video, you can watch another one from the screen. I'm Chris, thanks for your time and catch you in the next one.